record 29 victories, two defeats. He has 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He's fighting out of Sofia, Bulgaria. Here is the former European heavyweight champion, the former IBF international heavyweight champion, and the former WBA intercontinental heavyweight champion, Kubra, the Cobra Pulev. Pulev. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, his professional record, 32 victories, 12 defeats. He has 23 big wins coming by way of knockout. He is the former British heavyweight champion, the former Commonwealth heavyweight champion, the former European heavyweight champion, and the former WBO intercontinental heavyweight champion, fighting out of Finchley, North London, England, Derek. War Chisora Chisora Well, let's go ahead and mute that. That's surely going to get me. Okay. All right. Interesting. My man Boris. Derek Chisora was a Brexit guy. Yeah, they announced those bullshit minor titles. Um, and if that's a WBA, I'm guessing this fight is to get them a ranking because both of these fighters aren't ranked. So they're trying to get back into the top 15. But I only have it muted because they um playing a uh, copyrighted song. Uh, War. And I believe that's the Bruce Springsteen version. I can't really hear it. No, I don't think that's Bruce. But yeah, that'll get me copyrighted. So we want to just uh, turn that down a little bit. But overall, this should be a fun fight, you know? And once again, it's like a career match. So that right there should give it some, you know, some, some value. Bula! Let's see what they weigh in as. Who left his last fight weighed in um, at 248. The biggest he's ever been in his career was 255. Perfect. 250 bang on for Kubra the Cobra Pula. 250 pounds bang on. And uh, Chisora for his last fight weighed and in also at 248. Derek. The biggest of his career was 260. Chisora. 261, excuse me. 262, actually. Two hundred fifty-eight point two pounds. Two fifty-eight point two for Derek Warchisora. Okay, so that's ten pounds more than he did for the um, Joseph Parker rematch, and I don't like that on him, you know, because he has an issue of gassing out later on in fights. That weight may be an issue because he doesn't—he doesn't have the best conditioning. <laughs> So that is concerning. Yeah, happy Friday, guys. After you've been doing YouTube so long, you just know what shit gonna get you copyrighted and what's not. You just know, or at least I do. Yeah, there's that bullshit WBA belt. That bullshit WBA belt. So I'm guessing these guys are going to be ranked. They're going to be ranked in the top 15 of the WBA, whoever wins this. And whoever loses is going to the fucking shadow realm of retirement. Go do some commentary or some shit. You've got a job so quickly. Um, Derek, you said yesterday you were absolutely buzzing for this fight. How are you feeling now? Uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I'm excited. Um, you know what? Well, just tune in tomorrow and you see what's going to happen. We're calling this total carnage. Is that what you're promising to bring us tomorrow? It's going to be worse than that, man. That's what I'm saying. I am <coughs> ready to rock and roll and I am going from the get-go. We expect you to fight 
One way, and that is to bring it right from the start. Is that your plan tomorrow night? I'm going to do worse. I'm just going to go. And just finally, great support from everybody here this afternoon coming to see you. What's your message to all these fans here and everybody that's going to be watching tomorrow night? I think Boris Johnson should stay in number 10. <laughs> yeah, no joking. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow, listen, tune in on the zone. Come watch me if there's tickets left. And uh, you won't be disappointed. That's all I'm saying. You know, you're not going to see. Put it this way, you're not going to be disappointed. That's all I'm saying. You know, I, I got so much to do, and uh, I like to do it my way. And my way is either you knock me out or I'm going to keep going, bro. So you, just trust me. That's what I'm saying. Thanks, Derek. Thank you, mate. Well, I hope he has a better week than. Boris Johnson's had uh, hard, hard to have a worse week, let's be perfectly, perfectly honest. Um, £258, Derek Chisora, uh, the heaviest it's been since the David Price fight um, in 2019. Pulev, 250, bang on, which is kind of around where he's been. He was 239 for Joshua, but of course that was the opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, anything to read into that? that wait for Derek? It's uh a damn shame that David Hay body gave out on him. I was a real big fan. But he wasted his prime years, you know, bullshitting around when he should have been fighting going to be by his nutrition i don't think it's that well thought out i think he's just eats well he trains hard and what he weighs is what he weighs and um it seems I like britain's heavyweight could have been like what he could have been you know if he didn't um bullshit around after that klitschko fight but have also looked nice and trim he looked yeah. good you know with, with the heavyweights i think you can over you can take too much from what they weigh on the scales, you know, a big grub could be. What are you guys doing tomorrow? You're going to come hang out with me for the uh, fight. We're going to be streaming during the main event. I may even stream during the co-feature. You know, brief legal highlights, all that jazz. Wait, a big, massive heavyweight, and they, he, I watched Derek. He carries around a gallon uh, uh, bucket of water, effectively, where he is. He's constantly consuming water. If he didn't drink that for the day, he'll probably be five or six pounds lighter. So. um I like the weight on him. He looked good, and it means he's not going to be bouncing around on his toes trying to win by win off the jab. Yeah. He's coming forward like a tank, and he's grinding, and he's getting older. He is. Yeah. As you get older, you start getting thicker. You start putting on weight. So I, I think both of them in the twilight of their career, but this, they're both seeming very, very good shape. We're also going to be back um, at 6 p.m. tonight, um, doing my daily boxing show. We will recap this way in, talk about the news of the day. And we have uh, Ray Vargas and Mark Maxeo weighing in um, at 2 p.m. today as well. Going to be streaming that. In the end of those long levers, I think move around the middle, back to the center of the ring. Don't get back up, like I say. And I think try and walk Derek Chisora, Derek Chisora onto something. The difference with Chisora, though, from their first fight is his mentality now. He's I can't doing... believe that Tony Bellew beat him twice. Crazy as shit. So what that allows him to do is probably get into his groove a lot quicker. He, like he said there, he's not going to mess about. Trust me on this one. I'm going to, you know, it's going to be fireworks. The, the important thing is when he gets close to Pulev, he's got to be moving his head. He can't just be walking in with his hands up because he will get caught with something in the way in. Yeah, Pulev's, Pulev's got a very, very educated, yeah. long jab. He's taller than well -schooled, Derek is. Very well schooled. Good amateur good pedigree, uh, pedigree. You know, uh, European champion. Only lost to the very, very best. So he he can't allow in his from his position he can't allow Derek to get inside. Yeah, a Joshua versus a um, David Hay fight would have been fucking massive. I know Hay was injured. Oh my god, look, you a Hay fan, um, Nigel? I know he was fucking injured. Jesus, and you put it in all caps too. Chill out, Nigel. Get it together, mate. That, that nullifies the threat of Pulev when you yeah. get close. You yeah. know, you're taking away his advantage. Yeah. For those uh, who don't know, yes, David Hay was injured, okay? In both fights. To the side. If he does get the, to the ropes, he's got a time. Jesus. Find some space. Yeah. But it's easier said than done. Yeah. Derek, Derek's got a way of coming into range a lot quicker than you think. And when he's there, you go this way, there's a big shot coming this way. Or you try and go this way, there's a shot coming here. So you've either got to fight with him or clinch him. And if... Kubek Pulev decides to hold his feet and start fighting off the ropes. 
it's going to get very, very excited very quick. Very interesting. David, pleasure to have your company. Darren, great yeah. to have you as well. Uh, as always, we will be uh, tomorrow live at uh, half past five on the Ford of Bell Matching Boxing YouTube channel. Myself, Darren, and Barry Jones will be with us uh, as well. I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear. Rambler, uh, no, beg your pardon, Fabio Wardley, Solomon Dakers, Yusuf Ibrahim. Uh, and that will take us through to seven o'clock local time. Keeping a Jarko, Felix, Cash, Fabio Wardley, Majimov, uh, and Soro uh, all setting the table very nicely for the big heavyweight clash. Six years in the making, the rematch between Derek Chisora and Kubrat Kulev. O2 Arena live on the zone tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Bye bye. All right, so here's the card. Um, I'm going to read this card to see. Um, I got Felix Cash over Vaughn Alexander, but I expect that to be a good fight. You know, some people think it may be an upset. Fabio Wortley taking on Kingsley eBay. He hasn't shown up yet, so he's got to weigh in later. Uh, Ramla Ali, I'm interested in watching her fight, but at the same time, she's beating up some girl they just pulled off the Argentinian streets. Israel Madrimo versus Michelle Soro. That is a credible fight because they're fighting to be the mandatory for uh, Jamel Charlo, even though I expect the winner to never get a miss Jamel Charlo at 160 pounds. Um, the first mandatories are um, Bakram Mertazali of IBF. Got to get their shot first. Then the WBO, then Fandora, then the winner of uh, Israel Madrimov, Michelle Soro. So if Charlo was to even stay around at 154 pounds and keep winning, or whoever has those belts, you know, unless it gets vacated, they're not going to get their shot until at least the end of 2023. And that's just unfortunately how um, it works. And then you have, of course, the main event versus Derek Chisora and Kubred Pulev. Kubred Pulev and Derek Chisora are both not ranked, and they're fighting to be ranked in the top 15 by the WBA. Me, personally, my gut is telling uh, my gut is telling me Kubret Pulev, but you can't never count out uh, Derek Chisora. But Derek Chisora has weighed in 10 pounds heavier than he did his last fight. And uh, Kubret Pulev just fought less than two and a half, less than two months ago. So in my gut, unfortunately, you know, I like Derek Chisora, but I'm going with Pulev, who also won the first fight back in 2016 when they fought. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Uh, take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I am T Street Controversy with 5V360.